back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a spread in the Journals for Life Simply Home Traveler's Notebook Kit. This was the March release um, and there's a lot of different home or house icons in this kit. I thought it would be really fun to document a bunch of my favorite places in my home and this spread today is all about my favorite place, my craft room. Now what I did is I took two pictures. The top one is sort of from the entryway. Um, I don't technically have a door on my room. It's just a loft with two full walls, two half walls. So the um, entryway is uh, pictured at top. And then at the bottom I took a picture of the full wall where I have my Ikea Calyx bookcase and most of my supplies. So I did not clean up my craft room much when I took these pictures. Um, it is a fairly good size room, but I have to admit I collect things quite a bit. And so it is full. And I thought, you know what, I don't have time to clean this right now. I want to make this spread. And honestly, it's more representative of what the room usually looks like. So I went with it. Now, when I was putting the pictures on the white left side of the page, I wanted to mat it with some color. And I really loved the accents of the blue flowers on the right side of the page. So what I did is I went into my stash and found some blue cardstock that matched those blue flowers. I used a standard large um, shipping tag and used it as a template to cut out a tag. And then when I was putting it down on the left side of the page, realized it was a little bit wider than what I wanted. So I'm trimming it down off camera. My trimmer is um, a large uh, cutter pillar on the right side out of camera. And um, so I have to take things off camera to trim them down and so that's why there's sometimes some dead video. So I recut the um, top angles on the tag and now what I'm doing is pulling out the reinforcer die that comes on the, um, I believe it comes on the flip out page die. I love this reinforcer. I actually have um, a punch a, I think it's a CK memory or it's a We Are Memory Keeper punch that I used to use until I got this die. Um, and I find the die a lot easier to use. So I cut out some kind of peachy pink cardstock from one of the add on papers so it would match the flowers in the right side of the page for a reinforcer. The cardstock, once a ribbon was put through that hole I thought was going to rip and so it definitely needed a reinforcer and I also thought this was a great way to pull some of the pinky peaches into the left side of the page. This is my ribbon stash and um, I knew I had ribbon with flowers on it but it ended up not matching color wise so I put the ribbons to the side and I'm going to deal with that later. Now, I wanted a title to go over the pre-printed um, list area, and I pulled out this Journals for Life stamp. I believe it's called Crafty Life, and there's a funny stamp that says, I'm a curator kind of creator, and I thought that would be perfect because I have to admit, probably my second favorite hobby to actually scrapbooking is collecting supplies. So what I'm doing here is I wanted the title to be blue to match the blue in the tag. Um, I'm trying to do blue as my main focal color rather than like a black. And um, I pulled out a couple of the blues in my stash as far as the ink colors go. Now, on camera, these two look exactly the same. In person, they did not. Um, I pulled out an Allie Edwards Deschutes, uh, which is a very dark blue, and then I pulled out a Catherine Pooler uh, Juniper Mist, which is also a dark blue, but definitely has more of a blue 
tint like you can tell that it's a blue color the Allie Edwards ink was is such a dark blue it sometimes looks black I also have a lot of my ink swatched but I don't have all of them so had I actually gotten around to swatching all of them I wouldn't have to um, do tests of my um, title here but what I end up doing is I like the Catherine Pooler Juniper Mist because it's definitely more of a blue color even though this video doesn't show up very well so I'm gonna go with that and now I'm just pulling out my embellishment tray um, of all the embellishments from the kit that I haven't used yet and I'm just gonna play around with um, what I like and what I think looks good on this page so I spent some time just putting a variety of different things on the pages trying to figure out what I want I think between the very busy flower pattern which I love but it is rather busy and then also the busyness of my photos it took me a little bit of time to figure out how I wanted to embellish this page I do think at the end it's a little bit busy but I also think it's really pretty so what I end up really trying to do is pull some of the pink colors out of the flowers and using that as a way to embellish I was trying to do those black and white flowers because I did like the idea of pulling the flowers over to the left side of the page but keeping them very neutral so it wasn't um, even more busy with more colors and patterns um, I pulled out this stamp which is an add-on stamp the bits and bobs stamp I end up not using it but I thought it would be really uh, creative to use the ink splot stamps since this is a craft room I thought it would match pretty well from a theme standpoint but I end up not using it um, and going with the black and white washi tape um, in that comes in the kit now the video you noticed just changed this was the next day I had taken a break and I had come back the next day and I thought my camera was too low to my surface so I pulled it up now looking at it I didn't realize it was so dramatic and I'd love to know from you guys if you like the larger view of the desk or if you like the more closer um, view of the project when I moved my camera I thought having a bigger space or look, being able to see more of what was going on on the entire project would be great but now looking at this um, replay I'm thinking it's a little too high up it's harder for us to see the details of what I'm putting down on the page but let me know in the comments what you think and I will adjust my camera for next time so let's see I'm continuing to put my embellishments down like I said I really stuck with the pink colors and then I also left this pink and black butterfly I thought it went really well with the colors on the spread now I pulled out this older sequin pack from a kit from a few months ago it had um, some iridescent flower sequins they were very um, 3d flower and I'm adding them to my embellishment clusters they were a great way to add another piece to my embellishment but because they're iridescent and clear they're not adding a lot of um, busyness to the clusters and that ends up working great I'm finally going back and picking out some ribbon I end up going with the pink um, that ends up um, not adding too much new color or design to the spread and I really like that um, I think I end up just stapling rather than tying it which I will do in just a minute and then I will keep uh, placing down some embellishments I end up making just three small clusters around my page one up near my title which you can see on the right and then once I get this tag adhered down I will start putting the other two clusters down 
I've got one down on the bottom left, a heart, a word phrase, embellishment, and then I'm going to put, um, oh, I've got the black and white flower, and then I will end up doing the iridescent sequins as well. The three-dimensional sequins I have found adhere best with some glue dots, and that is what I'm using here. Now, it's again kind of hard to see now that um, the camera is pulled up hard, higher to what exactly is going down, but I am checking out some sequins and adhering those iridescent flowers. So this is pretty much going to wrap up this spread. I'm just doing the final touches. Off camera, I will write in the journaling spots the reasons that I love my craft room, why I'm grateful for my space. And then at the end, you'll see some still shots of this spread. Thank you for checking out my channel. Um, I hope to see you in the next video and please leave any comments below if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great crafty day.